Good morning. It's spring in Utah, and it's time for another video. It's Rob, the intercom nerd, and I'm coming to you from Utah in my driveway this time. Um, this one, the sun just is so exciting to see, and I'm happy to be outside. So today, we are going to talk about Bolero. Bolero is a wireless intercom made by Riedel, or Rydell, however you say it. But um, just like FreeSpeak and uh, Romeo, it can be a part, or a standalone system, or a small part of a small system, but also a wireless extension of a large matrix intercom. Today we're going to be talking about Bolero Standalone, or SA. Uh, I have a small installation here on the bed of my pickup truck, and I'm going to go over two things. One, how it physically wires up and what it takes to get up a system. And then two, in the software, we'll go to the computer and show you what it looks like when it's all connected. So here is Bolero, I don't know, 101? <laughs> yeah. So comms takes a talker and a listener. So for a wireless intercom, you'd have to have two belt packs. But that's not all it takes. We, these packs do not talk peer to peer. There's very few scalable systems that are going to be peer to peer. I don't think if a system is scalable, then it can be peer to peer. So let's just say, just like all the other intercoms, there's got to be an intermediary. So we have a, a belt pack as a talker and listener. We have a belt pack as a talker and listener. And then the only other thing that we need to complete, fully complete a Bolero standalone system is an access point. This access point has an enhanced license on it that you can't really see, but it does show here. And it has, unlocks access to some software that is all IP based. So there's an IP address right here that you can dial into on another a computer on the network and get in and configure this net because now we literally have a complete system of Bolero. So putting up one antenna, you can start handing out 10 belt packs and get people on comms immediately. That's not all you would ever want from a system. So we're not really done, but you're started. You put this antenna up on a stand and you plug in power, you turn on the belt packs, and you are talking from belt pack to belt pack across like a basic uh, default configuration. All right? It's pretty neat. Other systems can do that, but you've got to crank up the base and then entire, uh, attach an access point. This one, the access point is the configuration. It is the brain. It is the software, the GUI, whatever, that is, is required to run the net, run the... The comms. So uh, I'd like to go over a little bit about what comes in a package that would be a legitimate package that would let you do more things than just two belt packs on an access point. Because the thing about good comms is you can connect to other comms or you can connect a program signal or a stage announce output. We need to get in and out of this intercom to connect to other pieces. But first, let's just look at the case that um, houses belt packs. So I ship in units of five belt packs. The access point stores here, but you have five belt packs in a, in a battery charger and that all travels here. So you could literally get started in one case with the access point. Oh, this access point actually powers two ways. There's two ways to power this. You can power it via a four pin uh, power supply that's included, or you can power it here via PoE. Oh, Rob, PoE, Ethernet, network. Does this thing use networking to connect antennas or does it use like those splitters like FreeSpeak? No, this actually uses networking. So, We'll go over this case real quick and then we'll do a real quick mock-up of what it would look to, like to connect a system. Uh, but we have 
headsets. There is a, a mount for the antenna that comes with our kit and then some spare batteries. But let's, uh, so we can look at this kit. I don't want to go too far into this kit. I just need something out of it. This kit is going to be the analog tie-in kit. But let's, uh, let's get started and wire up what would be a small Bolero system just to outline real quick what I'm actually talking about, about it connecting. This is a regular old switch. Literally, it is a gigabit switch. So this one doesn't provide PoE. This is just a, a regular non-PoE switch. So I would rather use a PoE switch so that I don't have to run power supplies. But I want to show you exactly what I mean about how this stuff connects together. And I think a lot of people in media business are visual learners. So regular old switch, regular old network cables from port to port, from port, I don't know, to port, and you now have a distributed antenna system. The belt packs that were shipped with this antenna, now if you place this a distance away, they're able to hop to that antenna, and in two boxes, you're capable of putting up, depending on system design, 20 belt packs, because this one is capable of 10, and this one is capable of 10. So with one switch, you've put up 20 users of belt packs, and you can put a config PC in here and get in and dial in and talk to the network uh, if you wanted. You could maybe put a wireless access point on here, and then you could even configure it with an iPad over the web. It's all web-based. So that's literally how easy it is to start up, wire up a Bolero system. Ethernet switch to each antenna and an Ethernet to your config computer and you're up and going. Pretty cool, right? Okay. So you're saying, what about fiber, Rob? You're saying, what about getting analog audio in and out of this system? It's great. You can have 20 people walking around with belt packs. But what about the next step? All right. I'm going to rearrange some stuff on the tailgate here, and we will talk about that very soon. Poof. So I like to build things that accomplish, accomplish tasks that are always needed and leave flexibility for tasks that might become needed in different versions of a project. So I mentally labored over this box a lot. Bolero has a component that I haven't showed you. Bolero standalone has a component that I haven't showed you yet, which is its proprietary uh, system converter, which they call an NSA002. It's inside this box, and it has four wire connections and a GPIO connection. It's meant to be the bridge from the Bolero antennas to the analog world. Okay, so I've taken that NSA, which is a, a Bolero standalone item, and I've incorporated it into this box. This box does a lot of those common items that always need to be done, um, like putting a switch inside, maybe assigning IP addresses, maybe allowing Wi-Fi access, maybe converting to fiber. So this box is what I call a brain box or whatever. This would go at the connection to analog comms. So in my world of broadcast, this would go in the belly bay of the truck. And we would connect to the truck's intercom via these four wire paths. There's six of them, four up here on the actual device, and then two more that have been brought out down here to the, to the faceplate. Uh, there's nothing on the back of this box. So it could be placed anywhere, whatever's convenient, wherever it fits in the, in the belly bay of the truck, and it provides all the connectivity that you would need to interface with the truck and also go out to the field. Um, I'm gonna plug it up to power and you won't be able to tell anything because it's sunlighty and there's not much to tell. 
But Rob, I don't get it. What do you mean this connects? Well, literally, you're overthinking it, and it. There's a switch in here. You can see it right there. And if you could read these labels, maybe I'll zoom in. Oh, look, I zoomed in. So the connections to the antennas are here on PoE gigabit ports. And then fiber connections to the field are here. And I have coordinating media converters that allow the signal to come be converted back to Cat5. So here's literally what I mean, is we're going to take this antenna and we're going to plug it into this port here. It's probably not going to boot because the switch takes a second to boot. And then we're going to take this antenna and we're going to plug it in here. Oh my goodness, look at this. And this system is ready to go. And because there's a base file in this antenna here, it is telling what these connections are meant to be. I think the default file has cameras, audio, stage manager, uh, executives, and then five, party line five, and then a stage announce and a program input. And those things can all be assigned to buttons that we'll talk about later in the uh, software side of things. But this is, once again, a fully functional Bolero system. Let's see. Crank up a belt pack here. And there we go. The antennas are booted and connected. They see each other. And this belt pack is online. It's pretty easy. It's... Riedel and Bolero have done a great job of making this very quick, but also very powerful.